What's up everyone? It's Mr. Crucial, Redstone Tutorial on the super advanced button level selecting enchanting table. Um, yep, you come inside, hit buttons, tables pop up, and uh, remove the table. And it goes to max enchant. And this is a reset button. So, um, yeah, I've made this twice on YouTube already, but this is revised and it's uh, a lot more compact and it's a lot better. So let's build it. I'm going to build it off of the ground, and you're going to start off with five by five square of uh, sticky pistons facing upwards. Alright, now lay down the bookshelves. And let's pretend this is the enchanting table. So <laughs> we're going to lay some two high walls around the place. Okay, now let's hop inside and place our buttons. Like this. Three on the sides, five on the back wall, two each side of the door. Okay. Now on the back of these buttons, we're gonna place a model stable circuit. Just put a block with a sticky piston facing upwards, block in there. Two other blocks. And a sticky piston facing downwards. Like that. Peter. Peter. Dust. Okay. Now watch this. Watch the thing. See this block here? Pay attention to this one. On the last sticky piston. Hit the button and it gets shoved into place. So we're going to turn it into like a T flip flop. So it toggles the buttons on the top. Anyways, each one of the buttons is going to get one of these, and we're just going to leave the front entrance open right now. Voila. Now let's head underneath and we're gonna build like I guess uh, a base. It's gonna go into these sticky pistons here. Just drag it out. <coughs> I don't know how many blocks. A couple blocks there. It's gonna line up with these pistons here. Like that. And it goes into a repeater, which goes into a block. And these blocks are going to serve as like relay lines. Basically, when this one is on, it's going to go through the block and relay it into the second button. And we'll do the same thing here, where it can relay into the first one. Like so. Now we're going to need a repeater beside this block so it doesn't leak into the first line again. And place, fill in the rest. Basically like that. And I'll show you how it works. You hit this button. Basically it leaks into these two. It's only going to go into the first one. Not It doesn't go back. It only works one way. So we're going to do the same thing for that side here and the center three on this one.
the back one here. And we're gonna have to hook up this last mono stable up to this piston here. And then also relay it into the side piece. So we're gonna pull the line out like so. And it's gonna go right into this piston. So we're gonna switch this out for a repeater here. Just to prevent some cross contamination. And there you go. That piston's now hooked up. And we're gonna relay it into this relay block here. Like so. Now let's move to this side. Same thing on this side. This mono stable has to go into this corner piston. And we're going to plug it in here. Also the relay is going to plug in here to that block. <coughs> let's see here. This will be a repeater facing into the piston dust along this line and the power source will be coming from this block with the torch on it so when this green block is in place it goes into the side of it works just fine now we're going to relay the side piece into the back so just add two blocks here a piece of dust and a repeater facing in that direction Okay. Now we have to work on the front. The front's a little bit different. For the two buttons beside the doorway, we're going to have to use torches. So let's first create a little box around this area. <laughs> At 8. The mono stable will go into this button. It's going to come out the side here. and these top ones will come off of the torch. Now, these mono stables are going to be slightly bit shorter than these ones, one block shorter, except for one right here. Just pay attention when I, how I place these blocks. And you're going to notice this piston as well is going to be lower this time instead of raised, that way they're all equal. we can go ahead and wire them up to the pistons. So let's cr create a platform. And we're going to have to swap this out. This is supposed to be dust. And this could be a repeater here. Well, maybe not. Yeah, okay. So the relay will be right here. Yeah. Like that. The power will be here. And it goes into this line. Which is going to... We're going to have to swap this out for a repeater. Right here. Because this line is going to bend into that piston on the corner. So that's how that one works. And then it relays into the first line with a repeater here. And it basically will leak into that line to hit that first piston. So let's see, two repeaters here. And another repeater and dust. The power will be here. So that wasn't too bad. Now we're going to move to the other side. The relay switch line has to go into this block. So let's nail that out real quick. Um, let me see. We're going to swap this out for a repeater. Because we need our line. I mean, like so. directly into there. 
first piston and go in right there. We'll go through this iron block, whatever that white block is. Pull it back and it's gonna go into this first mono stable. Just shoot two repeaters here. Piece of dust and the power can be right here. Like so. And that one's automatically gonna leak into the rest of the unit just by transferring right here. Now we'll continue into the relay. So that's pretty much it for the undercarriage. Um, let's just give it a little test, see if it works. And let me see. We forgot the relay line here. So let's hop in here really quick, stick a block with a repeater on it. They're all working. Turn it off. Now we're going to add a reset line. The reset line's pretty simple. All we have to do is trigger these uh, pistons here, these sticky pistons. So we'll just line, lay a line right over them. up and drag it over. Now let's lay dust on these on this red wall. When placing your repeaters don't put them over top of the pistons because then it, uh, it won't reset it. There's the reset line. So that pretty much sums up the video. You should have yourself a pretty kick ass enchanting room. Thanks for watching. Peace out, trolls.